Hello everyone and welcome to the Suzanne Helfant Show, uh, presented by the Canyon Sports Connection. I'm Matthew Roskin, and to my left, Coach Suzanne Helfant, Head Coach of Women's Basketball. Thank you for being here. So jumping right in, uh, two tough losses to kind of end the winter break uh, with Oberlin and the number one DePaul. Can you just take us through those matchups? Um, the game on Wednesday against Oberlin, um, we thought, you know, we came out of the gates and went up really quick 10-2, to two, and I think that uh, we got a little bit too comfortable. Um, we started to really struggle from the field. They started to make a lot of, of tough shots. Um, I felt like we were a bit sluggish, and I felt like Oberlin was really the team that was initiating um, both things at the offensive and defensive end of the floor. And um, because we were struggling so bad to, to score, um, we got a little panicky. And, um, you know, in the end, though, I just thought Oberlin played a better game than we did. Uh, they played a lot more intensely. Um, they were a little bit more disciplined than we were. And, um, you know, we just we didn't rebound the ball well. So uh, the, the better team won that game. So it was a good uh, wake-up call for our team. And then talking about number one DePaul, obviously, the number one team in the nation, uh, how do you – coach your team through that game, especially when you're playing such a high caliber team, how do you take away things from that game to improve on and learn from watching them play against you guys? Yeah, you know, it's tough because we got blown out. I mean, you can't say it any other way. We lost by 40 points. Um, they shot the ball amazingly well in the first half. They shot, I think, 70% from the field. And unfortunately for our kids, you know, the further in the hole we got, the more they started to become tentative. And against a team like DePaul that has so many weapons, if you don't have five kids really getting after it on the floor, you're going to end up um, uh, <laughs> you're going to end up getting embarrassed, which is essentially what we did. Um, they're very, very good, and they're they're um, strong in every position. They're deep in every position, and they all showed up to play. Um, I thought they had a great game plan against us. Although I was pretty pleased that we were able to, to score, you know, almost 60 points, and and uh, we only got two points from our leading scorer. So it shows that we have other players that can step up and score. And I think that's the biggest thing that we'll, we'll take away from it is that you know we can produce offense when we need to, and it doesn't always have to be through Maureen Hurt. So now everyone's favorite part of the show, the off-topic topic. Mm -hmm. We wanted to know if you could spend any uh, day with any historical figure, who would it be and why? Um, you know, it's interesting. I was walking in here and we were teasing each other about that, Dan Priest and I. Um, I think it would be John Wooden. You know, he is the, the kind of patriarch of, of college basketball and he's been the person that set the tone and was able to, to um, consistently be at a championship level. Um, and he was a very mild-mannered man um, that seemed to really care about his players. And his players really seemed to care about um, both their teammates and, and the, the, the program. So, you know, it would be nice to be able to spend a day and see how he was able to, to create that kind of environment. Seems like someone not only you would like to talk to, but bring him in to talk to the team yeah. itself and yeah. just get some of that knowledge. Um, so now, jumping into the NCAC schedule, you get a lot of games back to back, and it's a tough schedule. So, how do you keep the girls fresh, both physically and mentally, for this grind? You know, this time of the year, it is very much a grind, and we've been going at it since October fifteenth. And there's nothing new. You know, it's the you know two days practice game, two days practice game, a day off. Um, I really believe that this is the time. If you have good team chemistry and you have good personalities on your team, and they really like being around each other, the monotony of the repetition is okay. You know that they can get through that part of it, and we can continue to work on things and they stay engaged. And most of the reason I believe they stay engaged is because they like being around each other. Um, we've got really good team chemistry again this year. Um, although we've stumbled and, and stubbed our toes, um, you know, I am very optimistic that we're going to get right back on the horse and we're going to be ready to roll on Wednesday. This is a challenge for us and I tell my team all the time, winners adjust. And you mentioned Wednesday, a big game against Denison, a rival and at Denison too. What are you telling your girls going to that game for that matchup, especially away? Well, we haven't talked one single second about them yet because we were working on DePaul and, and Overland last week. Um, but really it is, I think it's more about us. I think it's about us getting back to what we do well, which is we, we've got to work on our team defense. Um, we've got to work on our rebounding. And I think in the end, um, you know, if we execute our offense and get open looks, we've got to be able to knock open shots down. Um, but there, it's a great rivalry, and it's a team that I know uh, both uh, Denison and Kenyon get up for this game. So we're hoping it's going to be a real competitive matchup. And then coming up this weekend, you guys are playing the College of Worcester. Um, what do you think the keys are going to be to that game, and how do you get a win there? Well, they're a streaky shooting team and can really fill it up from the perimeter. Um, and they're a team that's kind of they're just really scrappy. Um, so we're going to have to be ready to play and, and be ready to go up against their physical nature and also be able to get hands in the in the face of their shooters on the perimeter. But um, again, for us, it's just better team defense, better team rebounding. 
And you mentioned Worcester being very scrappy. Mm -hmm. How do you play with that physicality but yet not get into foul trouble? It's hard because of the way they're officiating this year. You know, that's changed a little bit. Now they're, you know, they're, they're getting a little bit more uh, ticky-tacky if you put your hands on people for too long. So I think that our kids have adjusted fairly well. Um, we need to move our feet more. We need to take better angles. Um, and we need to keep our hands off the, the opposing team. But it gets tough when it's a physical game, so we'll see who wins that matchup. All right, everyone. If you want to come support the ladies, travel out to Denison this Wednesday at 6 p.m. I'm sure they could use the support. Yes. For the Keen Sports Connection, I'm Matthew Ruskin. Suzanne, thank you for being here.